Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to do uh, my Blu-ray haul. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, I think, since I last did one. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't regularly buy Blu-rays a lot, and when I do, I look for like really good deals because um, I don't like paying full price and I don't like buying movies brand new because uh, most of the time I haven't watched them because I don't know if they're good or not, and I don't want to waste twenty bucks. Uh, sorry if I sound weird. I'm really congested. I got this cold my kid gave me, so so bear in mind with me. So let's start it off. We'll start off with the faculty. Uh, really cool that I got this. I got this uh, on sale. It was uh, five bucks. Uh, I've been looking for it, but when I was trying to find it, it was uh, um, full price. I think it was like eighteen bucks. Um, no bonus features on this. It's just the straight movie, which I don't mind. Um, sometimes I just like watching a movie. I don't, I don't get into the, the special features too much unless it's a movie I really like or if the fe features are pretty cool. Uh, second movie here is uh, Centurion with Michael Fassbender. Uh, very cool, uh, Roman fighting, uh, British, uh, one of those period pieces, uh, decent action, uh, all around, not a bad movie. I uh, also got this pretty cheap. Uh, I haven't checked out any of the special features on this, but it's worth a watch. It's from the director that done uh, that's done uh, the Descent, uh, Doomsday, which is one of my favorite movies, and uh, Dog Soldiers, which which is one of my be better uh, werewolf movies out there. So I think <laughs> I think it's safe to say this is probably uh, uh, my favorite director. If I can get his name here. Uh, do, 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 do. Talking, 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 no dead air. Where the hell is the director of this thing? Oh, there it is. Neil Marshall. So, if you want to know who Neil Marshall is, there you go. Type in his name right there. And check out his other movies because they are pretty good. Uh, next up is the only uh, Daniel Craig uh, Bond movie I actually like. Uh, Casino Royale. Um... I, I, even if it, this didn't have James Bond name on it, it'd still be a good film. Um, I never really thought of it as a James Bond movie. I just thought it was a good spy movie. So even if you took James Bond's name out of it, it, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, yeah, great cast. Uh, yeah, I just love this movie. Uh, most people, uh, I would say most people are like 50-50 on it. Uh, but I like it. I like it a lot better than, uh, what is it, Skyfall? that everybody seemed to like. Uh, next up, just a straight, um, blind, like, turning your brain off action movie, uh, Steve Austin, uh, a group of, uh, prison, uh, prisoners get sent to this island for this weird, uh, online survival contest, and, uh, Steve Austin is the American... And there's a bunch of other uh, crazies trying to be number one. It's not a bad movie. Only thing about this that pissed me off was I tried to put this in my Xbox. And it's really thick. I don't know why it's so heavy. But it won't play in my Xbox. Um, so it won't play in that Blu-ray. I tried my PlayStation Blu-ray. It won't play in that. Um, I haven't gone upstairs and used my regular Blu-ray. So uh, hopefully... I can get this thing to play upstairs. If not, then I'm stuck with this thing or just going to throw it out. But I, I do like this movie. It's a fun movie. Next up, another fun movie of mine. Uh, the Spirit. A lot of people don't like this. Uh, Frank Miller, Miller uh, directed this. Uh, stars Samuel Jackson. Uh, Eva Mendes. Scarlett Johansson. Like, it's an all-star cast. Uh, Gabriel Machette. If you have not known of him, I think he plays on Suits. And he's done a bunch of other movies. Uh, right now, I can't think of them on the top of my head, but this is a very fun movie. I found I found it very, uh, very good. Um, you know, it's, it is cheese, but it is good. Um, it's, it, it, it's definitely uh, a check out. Oh, sorry guys, just give me a second. Alright, next up is Iron Sky. Um, I don't know anything about this. This was a blind buy at uh, the dollar store for like three bucks. Um, I've heard good things about this um but yeah i have not seen this so i don't even know what to expect 
Um, I like the slip cover though. It's kind of got that glossy silvery. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you guys seen this, let me know. Cause I've been uh, been wanting to watch it, but I just haven't had the time. Uh, next up is Lost in the Sun with Josh Duhamel. He plays like a bank robber, and he gets stuck with this kid. And uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this. I haven't watched this. This was another blind buy. Um, if you want to stop and read this, I'm not going to read all that. But yeah, this was also a dollar store pickup. It was like three bucks. Not bad. Next up is one of my favorite horrors, uh, The Collection. This is the sequel to The Collector. Um, yeah, uh, I think I, I think you guys heard me talk about this. I um, I have the the DVD of this. I just wanted to buy the Blu-ray, and it wasn't a bad price. It was only six bucks, so why not, right? Um, hopefully they do a third one because they left it off as um, with a cliffhanger saying that there could be a third one. Just gonna wait, but that's definitely a good one. Next up, there was another cheap buy, Troy, uh, Director's Cut. Only three bucks, why not? It's Brad Pitt, Eric Bana, Orlando Bloom. Very cool. The Siege of Troy. Uh, oh my god, my nose is killing me. Yeah, I can't wait to rewatch this. It's been a while since I've seen this one. From what I remember, I did like it. It's cool to have a Director's Cut. Oh, there's an important to notice. Anything back there? No. Well, how long is the director's? It is. Holy shit! 196 minutes. Fuck. <laughs> That's a commitment. All right. Second to last, I got um, any given Sunday. Great football movie. I uh, love it. Uh, it is a director's cut. Oliver Stone. Is it Oliver Stone? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Oliver Stone. Uh, yeah. Um. Just an overall great movie. I love uh, Al Pacino in this as the veteran uh, coach. And Jamie uh, Foxx as that up-and-comer football player. Uh, seems to be pretty much loaded with special features, which is good. Uh, 157 minutes, which is also good. Yeah. Yeah. Give this a try. It's pretty good. Another important notice. Again, three bucks can't go wrong, right? And my last one is The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Great action movie. Uh, don't have to think too hard on this one. Uh, <laughs> I posted something on Instagram with this one. I was watching it on Netflix. Um, my dad stole my DVD copy when I, I let him borrow it. He goes, no, that's mine when I try to get back, so... Haha, ah, Dad, I got the Blu-ray, so you can keep my crappy old DVD copy. But yeah, Johnny Knoxville's pretty funny in this. I love it. And uh, Jamie Alexander, is that her name? Jamie Alexander from uh, uh, Thor. She's in it. Yeah, it's not bad. But anyway, guys, that's uh, my Blu-ray haul. It's been a couple weeks, but I hope you guys like it. And hopefully... Um, if I find more deals, I can buy more. All right, guys. Uh, so leave a comment, throw me a like, and if you have not yet subscribed, please do. Because it's always fun to have new subscribers. All right, I'll check you later, guys. Bye.